Hello everyone and welcome. In this short video, I'd like to take a few moments to discuss some updates with the OctoContra bass clarinet, as well as some plans I have with the keywork that differ from my original ideas. So, first some updates with the instrument. I haven't made a significant amount of progress actually installing pieces on the instrument, however, I did spend the last week or so planning on where I'm going to locate the keys and trying to find as many keys as I can from existing instruments that I can repurpose for this instrument. My plan is to repurpose as many keys as I possibly can because it'll make it much easier to build the instrument and the final product will be done much sooner than if I were to try to make every single key by hand. Um, I know this is probably the cheap way of doing it and it's not the best way to make a octocadre based clarinet, but this is, like I've said, a prototype instrument and I understand that it's not going to be perfect. So there's no point in trying to make it a perfect instrument the first try. Eventually, yes, I would like to make a perfect auto contra bass clarinet, but I think I need a good prototype under my hands before I attempt such a feat. So now I'd like to discuss some other ideas I had about this instrument to try and simplify it, just to make it easier for me to build. Now, originally, I was planning on making it a bone system instrument, sort of like this very broken bass clarinet joint. So in a bone system instrument to finger a B flat and lower register, first finger, B natural, second finger, C, open, you all know how it plays. But the problem with this is that for these notes, I would need three separate keys that are all interlinked. You can see that when I close this pad cup, well, the spring's broken, but you can see when I close this pad cup, it closes this pad cup up here. When I close this key, it closes this key as well. So the keys all have to be linked together. And on a smaller instrument, like a bone system clarinet, this is no problem. They just have ring keys for this. So actually I have one right here. You can see that there's just one key with two rings and you can finger it like that. And that's no problem. This key is easy to make. However, when you're talking about something as large as an octo contra bass clarinet, it becomes really difficult to try and make a key like that because you have to have pad cups that are almost a foot apart that have to connect to each other and work together. And that's very difficult to do. So I was thinking, you know, this would be way easier if I could find a way to make these pad cups completely separate. And if I could figure out a way to somehow play a chromatic scale with these pad cups being separate, it's going to save me a lot of time, and it's going to save me a lot of effort. So I was thinking, as much as I hate the idea, I think I'm going to have to make the first prototype sort of a simple system instrument. Essentially, what this means is that you would finger an F like this. Actually, no, this would be an F sharp in the upper register and a B natural in the lower register. Um, so then an F would be two fingers plus the F sliver key and an E, I'm sorry, an A would be the two fingers, and then a B flat would be the A plus the sliver key. And the idea with this is that I could make it, instead of three keys that have to be connected together, there are now three keys that can be completely separate. And this makes it significantly simpler, and it'll just make the overall build process easier. Not to mention it'll be easier to adjust because I don't have to worry about having each key close at the same time. So I think for at least the first prototype, this is how I'm going to do it. And I've already started planning about how I could use bass clarinet keys for this particular part of the mechanism. And it also simplifies it in the upper joint too. So instead of having your, um, your I don't have an upper joint on me, but your index finger key and your thumb ring, it's called a thumb ring, but on a bass clarinet it's obviously not a ring. Um, Instead of having these keys connected to the open G pad cup, you just have it all separate so that um, just the thumb is an F sharp, not an F natural. Um, and to play an F natural, what you would do is you would simply play an E with the thumb and the index finger, and then you would use a side key to play that F natural. And it's going to be a little bit more complicated to play this way. But there's one reason why I want to do this. So just playing around with the prototype, I was trying to play some fast passages with just with the few keys that I have on it. And I started to realize that it's not going to be possible to play fast on this instrument. It's very slow. It's very sluggish. 
it's hard to play. So I'm thinking that while Bomb System has the advantage of being a very good system for playing fast runs and trills, I'm not going to need any of that. This is going to be an instrument designed for playing harmony and bass lines, and that's pretty much it. I think that even with a simplified system, it'll still be a great instrument. It'll still have a very valid purpose. So that's it. This was just a quick video just to express my thoughts and ideas. Um, hopefully in the next few videos, I'm going to be showing some progress on building the instrument. Um, so hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And be sure to check out my next video. All right. Thanks, everyone.